because I have images inside my head. Uh, so when you're walking along, you see things uh, subconsciously, you let them go, and you see something else, you see someone's face, you recognize it, you say hello, you see a street sign, you're good, you go home, you go to sleep. I see these things, and I see almost what I, I sometimes I phrase it, I see too much. So I don't just see the tree, I see the moss, I see the spider webs, I almost see, some days I see every leaf at once. Um, and the only way to rid myself of this constant bombardment of information is to paint it or to reproduce it. And it's almost like having a giant puzzle, like a 10,000 piece puzzle, um, but the gray side up and the colors down. And uh, when I paint it, it's like I found another piece that fits and boom, I'm relieved of this image. And uh, sometimes I can get it out in a day, I can get it out in three days, seven days, 28 days on going to the one. Um, and there's one, one piece that's in the other room. Uh, it was almost 24 hours, but I, I had the image in my mind, and uh, you know I had to get it out. Um, I you know there's a very famous uh, Jimi Hendrix quote. He's talking to his dad, and he says, uh, "You know, Dad, you ever just get these sounds in your head, and you got to get them out?" And his father looks at him, "What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what sounds in my head? What, what are you snorting, son? You know, just like..." You know, you, but some people are, are burdened with different things, and, and it can be um, be quite a problem. But if you, you know, as long as I've got a, an outlet. I'm good. And when I was uh, flat broke, you know, I painted on this some milk crates and great crates of things, and there's bricks and bottles and whatever I can get my hands on, I could put paint on. I put paint on it. Some things are immediate images. Some things are almost nothing. And then some things I turn upside down, and then at the end of a show, I'll turn right side up, you know, just to just to mess with you. Often, uh, at night time, I'll have um, more than one image in my head, is a big question. Um, what do you do when you have more than one painting to work on at a time, or can I work on, you know, it's like a balancing act. I've, I've almost compared it to walking over a tightrope with a wheelbarrow full of cement. It can be done, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do it. Um, don't sneeze. Uh, so I'll have, I'll have two canvases open and then I'll begin to multi-layer and I'll begin to see the different layers again and I can draw up any image in my head at any time, I will. There are certain features that uh, I'll always favor, uh, a draping hand, a drooping hand, a lot of my uh, more circular images which are starting to fade now um, and just today I was thinking of putting a ball on a stick and then covering that ball with a sheet and then painting that by candlelight but again and again and again from different points in the room but not painting the walls or corners of the ceiling and then of course you would have the illusion of walls or ceiling without knowing whether with multiple you know that would be uh, that would be fun but see that sometimes I create these things um, the one behind you there, Fabric of the Universe. That would have been a great concept to do that with. And now that I'm looking at it, I could do that painting again with balls on sticks without the painting the ball, just painting the draping sheets. Uh, but then that would be multi-layered. See, and I could combine ideas that I already have. So it's sort of like walking around now with a library in my head of all these other images that I can access and say, oh, do I want to put that with that? You know, let's try a little bit of, you know, I can almost cut cut images in half. But then, as complicated as I can get, there's a piece over here, the meaning of life. And uh, whenever I'm trying to uh, uh, impress by not impressing, so I show up to somebody, some place where people absolutely do not know me, don't know my work, um, by putting my most humble foot forward, I'm in actuality really, really showing off. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm the most humble guy you'll ever meet. You know, <laughs> it's like the most proud statement you'll ever make. And it, the meaning of life is simply uh, a single rose in a, in a cup on a table. You don't see the edges of the table. You know the table's away from the wall. You know it's not up against the wall. There's a shadow cast. It's a single red rose. And, and here's, the, here's the, the trick. Here's the trick of it. Here's the rub. The flower is standing straight up. But I give no evidence of dirt or support. 
the flower is standing straight up so we're, we're in Pisces Cafe and a young lady walks out of me in a huff as I walk in and I, I look at Jeff and I said, well what was that about? and he says, well she was angry at your painting and I said, well why? and she said, well she said it didn't make any sense and I said, well yeah, I thought I made that pretty obvious <laughs> and, and he starts laughing and I'm laughing and he says, well she's angry because the flower is standing straight up and that doesn't make any sense and Jeff just happened to say, hence the title and I guess she didn't see the you know, the fantastic brass nameplate, my framer John gets his best stuff. And it says, of course, on it, the meaning of life. And it's, you know, try to figure it out. Try to understand it. Try to make sense of it. You really can't. There's some things you just, you're going to have to accept. So it's sort of like walking around now with a library in my head of all these other images that I can access and say, well, oh, do I want to put that with that? You know, let's try a little bit of, you know, I can almost cut, cut images in half. There are certain features that um, I'll always favor. Uh, a draping hand, a drooping hand, a lot of my uh, more circular images which are starting to fade now. Uh, so I'll have, I'll have two canvases open and then I'll begin to multi-layer and I'll begin to see the different layers again and I can draw up any image in my head at any time. I will.